you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name is Sam and in today's video we're gonna be doing this full face of elf cosmetics if you want to see how I got this look then please keep watching all right so I just took the elf camo concealer the original and the hydrating the original in the shade fair rose and the hydrating in the shade fair beige and I mix them together on the back of my hand and I'm gonna use those to prime my eyelids. I'm using the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge to apply this. And now I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder and just set my eyelids before I go in with any eyeshadow. And now before I actually start with the eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer and put that all over my face. I like to do my primer before I do my eyeshadow, that way it kind of has time to sink in. And then when I get done with my eyeshadow, I'm just ready to start on my face. So I'm just going to take this and rub this all over my face. I'm going to go in at the e.l.f. Mint Melt little quad and I'm going to pick up that lightest tan shade. I know I'm kind of in a different filming setup today. My husband is actually at home and he's still in the bed and for those of you who are new here, I film at my headboard so it's kind of hard to do with my husband there asleep. So, I'm in our living room today. It's not the most ideal setup, but I'm trying something new. I actually got the e.l.f. on the go ring light, or whatever it's called, and I'm using that to add a little extra lighting today for filming. I'm going to go in with another brush with no additional product and just kind of make sure there's no harsh edges or anything. I'm going to take that darkest shade on a pencil brush and put this closest to the lower lash line and work it out into the outer V. And then as the product fades off the brush, I'll slowly work that up into the crease just a little bit, just to deepen this outer area. Go back in with that previous brush and just kind of blend it out and diffuse the edges. Now I'm going to pick up some of that first kind of caramel shade and go back in and kind of add that back a little bit. I feel like the darker brown was a little darker than I anticipated and I kind of lost in that caramel shade so I just want to make sure that that's still very visible. And I'm going to go in with that shimmery gold shade on a little flat brush. I'm going to spritz it with the e.l.f. Hydrating Coconut Mist. And I'm going to apply that on the inner part of the lid. Now 
Now I'm going to go into that first brush again and just kind of wiggle it back and forth where that shimmer meets the outer corner to kind of blend that together. Pick up a little bit more of that caramel shade and just kind of tap that here in the middle. Now I'm going to do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I went on ahead and I also did my eyeliner. I used the No Budge Retractable Eyeliner in black and the H2O Proof Eyeliner Pen also in black. And I did my brows with the Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I used the shade Taupe and then I set my brows with the Elf Wow Brow also in the shade Taupe. And now I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream in the shade Fair. And I also mix in the e.l.f. Fun Kiss Booster Drops. And that way it just kind of smooths out the um, foundation a little bit. I don't like how thick the foundation is. So I use the Sun Kiss Drops and it just kind of thins it out a little bit. I've been going for a much lighter weight, lighter coverage foundation these days. So this just sits really heavy on my skin when I don't dilute it with something. So I've really enjoyed going in with the sun kiss drops. A lot of these products are newer products for me, but some of these are things that I've used and will continue to use, like the um, e.l.f. concealer concoction that I use to prime my eyelids. I've used that plenty of times. You guys know my holy girl right now is the Kylie concealer in the shade Stone, but before that I used the e.l.f. Um, camo concealer religiously. At the end of this video, I will kind of give a rundown of how I feel about all of the products, new and old, and if they'll make it into my everyday makeup kit or not. And now I'm going to go in and take whatever's left on the back of my hand and blend this down my neck. Now I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer and the Hydrating Camo Concealer and use that to highlight my face. I really like this combination because each of the shades alone are not completely the right shade for me, but when I mix them together I can make the perfect concoction. I can also use a little bit more of the hydrating one and make a much more like skin tone shade for like spot concealing and then use a little bit more of the original one whenever I want to actually brighten and highlight my face, like I'm doing right now. So I kind of get the best of both worlds by mixing the two together. Now I'm actually going to take the back end of a brush just to kind of place this right in the center of my nose. And then take my sponge and blend it out. And now I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in the shade Tan Lines. I've been using the e.l.f. Contouring Brush to kind of chisel out my face. But I hate that it's bigger than the pot. I wish they would have made the pot just a little bit bigger. 
but I'm gonna try the Complexion Duo brush today and just pick up the putty bronzer that way and we'll see how well that works. So I do definitely love how effortlessly this blended it out. I wish that it was kind of a little more dense because I feel like it is almost too loosely packed to really pick up the product, but I like it. I don't know, maybe I'll use this for concealer or maybe to set my under eyes. I don't know what I'd use this side for, but I think this worked out pretty well. Okay, now I'm going to pick up this little tiny brush and use that to contour my nose. And then I'm going to pick up the putty blush in the shade Turks and Caicos and use the back side of my beauty sponge to blend that out. Also, Ethan took a bite out of my beauty blender, so that's fun. <laughs> he loves, he knows where I keep all this stuff and he'll go to that drawer and pull it out and run around my house with it. He specifically loves that brush that I use to blend foundation down my neck and my beauty sponges. I don't know why, but those are like his absolute favorite brushes and tools. And he loves to grab them and run around and play with them. All right, now I'm gonna go back in with that sheer tint finishing powder and set my under eyes. I'm just gonna make sure that there's no creasing. And stamp this under my eyes. And I'll also use this to set down my T-zone down my nose, around the edges of my nose. And my chin. Then I'm gonna take the Halo Glow setting powder in the shade light and set the rest of my face. And now I'm going to take the primer infused bronzer in the shade Forever Sunkissed and use this to slightly contour my face. And then I'm also going to use this on a bigger brush to bronze up my face. And now I'm going to take the White Peach Bite Size Duo and use the highlighter to highlight all of the regular 
you know, the high points of my face. You want to come sit up here? You guys sit still. <laughs> Can you wave? Can you blow him a kiss? Blow a kiss. Mwah! Okay, now you can sit down. And now I'm going to take that blush and blush up pretty much my entire face. You guys know the deal. And now I'm going to take the green shade from the little eyeshadow palette and I'm going to spritz it. And I'm going to apply this into my inner corner. I really don't even know if you can tell on camera, but that just kind of adds a little bit of a different vibe to the look. It was already a really pretty look in my opinion, but this just kind of gives it a little extra pop. I don't know where all of this colorful eyeshadow girl has come from. Cause I used to be very, very basic and I just, I didn't play with colors. I did the same eyeshadow pretty much all the time. I guess I'm just in it for the summer. I don't really know, honestly. Thank you, baby. And now under my lower lash line, I'm just gonna take a little bit of that caramel shade. <gasps> yeah, you see the kitty? And now I'm going to take the Milani Understatement Lip Liner in the shade Saucy Toffee. Couldn't find any e.l.f. lip liners at all. I don't think that they have any. So I'm just going to use this really quick and line my lips. And now I'm going to take the Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Coffee. And now I am just going to take a little bit of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London and just put it right in the center. This is actually what I was going to use originally, the NYX. I went to Walmart to pick up all the e.l.f. stuff that I needed and they didn't have the uh, matte lip cream, they only had the plumping gloss. So I happened to run to a different Walmart yesterday and I found the matte lip cream that I wanted. So now I'm doing a little combination. Now I'm going to take the Mint Melt Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade mint sprinkle and just put this right in the center just kind of give it a little bit of a different vibe tie into the green from the eyeshadow all right you guys and this is the finished look i just went and took my braids down and I changed shirts, so this kind of made the green pop a little bit. So, rapid rundown of all of the products. The Luminous Putty Primer. I, I enjoyed it. I don't know. I 
I'll have to see how it wears, if it makes my makeup fade or anything. I will leave that in the description box down below if I figure that out before I post the video. The eyeshadow palette, I think it was cute. I think I created a pretty cute little look with it. I would use this again. I might put this in my travel bag because these three make a pretty nice, just like everyday kind of look. And then you can add a pop of green if you want to feel a little funky. Um, the Camo CC Cream Foundation. I like it. I don't like it on its own. I like to kind of tone it down a little bit with those uh, sun kiss drops, which for the record, also sun kiss drops. I also enjoy this combination together. I like a lot. I also really like the Starbucks cup that my son's handing me. Um, the camo concealers. I like these. I like them together very much. Um, I have to mix them together to be able to use them. So these two are also a hit. The brow products probably weren't my favorite. If I had to pick something that was my least favorite, it would probably be these. And they're not bad, but I just don't really like the shades. But these are the closest shade that I have, I think, to that they have for me to be able to wear that match me the best. But they're not great, great. I love the NYX, um, the brow glue, and the eyebrow pencil from them. So, I also like the um, little brow marker. The eyeliners, both the retractable and the um, H2O proof liquid liner, I like those. I think they're pretty easy to use. I might add the um, H2O proof to my actual makeup bag because it's a very affordable option. The putty blush, you guys already know I love. I use this just about every day. The putty bronzer I really enjoyed. It was really easy to blend. I really like the shade. I'll probably add this in my makeup bag. You guys know I use the blush and highlighter duo all the time. I also have the watermelon one and I love that one too. Um, I really enjoyed both of the powders. This one will be really easy and it would probably be nice for like touch ups or something. I could put this in like my purse and take it with me. Um, the Halo Glow setting powder. This is also something I'll have to play with and see if it makes my makeup slip and slide or if it set it pretty well. Um, right now I've been using the Hourglass Veil translucent powder, so it could be comparable to that. I will keep you guys updated with that. I love this um, setting spray. I used this the other day. I used it Sunday getting ready for church. Um, I love the way it smells. I love how refreshing it feels. I will definitely be using this some more. Um, I had this other concealer to try, the Flawless Brightening Concealer, and I kind of forgot because I used the um, Camo Concealer so much that I just didn't think about these, this, so I will definitely need to try this out and I will let you guys know. I had the Putty Eye Primer, but the one that I got was dried out and I need to take it back, that's why it's still in the box, so I will take this back and get a different one. and test this out at some point and let you guys know. I got the um, Seriously Satin Lipstick in the shade Cider to test out. Um, I didn't like the way it looked with this makeup look, so I used a different lip combo, but I like the formula of this, the way it feels. I haven't actually worn this on my lips, but I've swatched it and I, really, I think it's really pretty. I also got the No Budge Eyeshadow, the Mint Melt one in the shade Ice Cream. I meant to use this and I just forgot I was gonna put it and then put the um, shimmery shade on top of it so I will also try this out maybe in a different video for you guys both of the elf lip products I really really enjoyed I like how tingly the um, mint melt lip gloss is it's not like overpowering but it kind of just makes your lips feel a little zhuzhed up and I like the formula of the um, liquid matte lipstick and the Big Mood Mascara, I will have to see. So far, it doesn't make my eyes burn or anything, and you guys know I have really sensitive eyes. So, I will keep you guys up to date on this as well. I think that was everything. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Comment down below if you would like for me to film more videos just like this. I thought about doing one with um, NYX Cosmetics, because I already use a lot of NYX in my everyday life. If you guys want to see that, just comment down below and let me know. I'll also do a poll on my Instagram, so you can go follow my Instagram and let me know what you guys think about that. And if you have any other video suggestions, comment them down below and I will do my best to film them for you guys. And until next time.
You want to come say bye with me? All right, put my little thing down. Wave. Wave. Say bye, guys. Blow them a kiss.